Welcome to a new episode of Lost in Transit. We are Tom and Ez, and you join us halfway through our lap of Europe. Today, we are in southern Poland. We will be exploring an amazing salt mine deep underground. We'll then be traveling to one of Poland's most picturesque villages. We have just received texts from the Polish government, but severe weather is coming in today. Howdy, guys. <laughs> Howdy. Welcome to the Cab Cemetery. This is my little area. I'm making nice and comfy. I've just made it my little sanctuary. Put a little bit of lavender oil in there. Put a little blanket up. I'm making my home. Just had my therapy call, so made it all so cozy in there. Today we parked up at the base of this big dam. It's been a bit of a slow start because Izzy's been having her therapy. I'm all therapized now, I'm better. This morning I gave myself a little sink hair wash and a flannel body wash. Trying to dry out our towels before this thunderstorm kicks in. It's feeling very heavy in the air. I'll see you on the salt mine. Welcome to Vilikska. That was 238 zloty or 42 pounds for two tickets and we're going on a, I didn't really realise we were having like a proper tour to be honest I don't know much about this. Somebody kindly told us that we, because we've been saying this whole time Jinkuya Chi, but apparently no one really says that, it's just Jinkuya. So we're going to try and act more like a local now. We have entered the mine and our first thing in the mine that we're doing is travelling down 300 steps, 64 metres underground. This is a long way down. <laughs> We're just carrying on with this spiral staircase and it just keeps going. We've made it to the bottom of the staircase, yeah, and there's all of the edges of the wall and stuff are just encrusted with salt. It's bubbling it? out everywhere, yeah. And so we're now 64 metres deep and we've just been told <laughs> that there's something like 2,400 kilometres of tunnels down here. It's getting a bit more mine-like down here. It's getting quite uh, small, the space that we're walking through. Okay, we're, we're the last ones now. You, it's really important you shut the door to keep this the oxygen levels good here, but we've just arrived into this very salty area. It's, the walls are covered in salt and it's getting quite narrow. It feels quite exciting. We've got our, our friend Copernicus back here. They've got a statue made out of a massive block of salt of Copernicus behind me because he came to visit in the 1400s. Apparently the salt air is actually really good for you and they, on the third level they actually have like a healing centre. People with like bronchitis, long Covid, respiratory sis, uh, system problems. Apparently it's really good for you to be breathing in this salty air. There's salty water. Oh yeah, salty. <laughs> Welcome to the Cemetery. I'm in a church underground, I'm in a church underground. It's all made of salt, I'm in a church underground. This is one of the biggest chambers in the whole salt mine and still you very much use as a sacred place. All of the wall art here is just carved straight into the salt rock and even the chandeliers in the ceiling, the crystals of the sand chandelier are just chunks of very pure salt. 52 metres long and it was built by three individuals and they would stay on after they had finished work and work for free to build this entire huge church. Everything in here is soaked, even the floor I'm walking on, it's quite slidey, quite smooth. It's pretty beautiful, it's really made of salt. So behind me is this massive salt lake and water is a huge problem in the mines, but this water here is 32% salt, which is the maximum amount of salt you can get in water, so this can't dissolve any more water. Completely saturated with salt. Some of the miners left some tools down, down in the mines and they've had secondary crystallisation over them so they've got all these amazing formations and like they're beautiful but they're just covered in these big crystals. That was really interesting. Bright? Yeah, kind of nice to be back on the surface. Uh, it was quite a long tour, we were down there for about three hours. It was kind of bizarre, like I didn't really feel like I was underground. In the mines in Cornwall, it felt like a cave and it was like damp and wet and cold. Whereas mm. this was like... It was open. Because, yeah, it was open, but also because of the salty walls, it was really dry yeah. air. I think we walked quite a long way underground. It was huge down there. It's really busy now. It was a massive queue to get in. So I'm really glad we came early. Definitely recommend coming early. That line behind me is huge. 
So this kind of thing is Tom's nightmare. He doesn't like it, like really busy. So we gotta get out of here and go to our next spot. Woohoo, it's steamy in here. Boiling two pans of hot liquid and it's really muggy in the air. So it feels like it's about to rain and I'm just trying to air out the van as much as I can before it starts raining because it gets so hot in here with the door shut. Today's lunch is kidney beans, sun-dried tomatoes, courgette, celery, spaghetti. I gotta say, we keep listening to this off-menu podcast on the drive and it's making me, it always makes me so hungry and I always think about what I'm gonna eat when I get parked up. Um, but this is tasty, yeah, I've made a good pasta dish right now. I used a whole jar of sun tomatoes and like all of the, I used lots of the oil in the jar. Thank you. I was ready to fall asleep then, I was getting a bit tired and grumpy. Turns out I need a bit of food. Let's go explore this little town. It's really nice, all the little picnic benches in the park are painted with the little flowers and stuff. And even the tree has got painting on actually really enjoying having the place to ourselves just because it was really busy earlier um, so yeah a little hidden gem this is the prettiest sundial i've ever seen the reason they started making these houses so pretty with the artwork is because all the houses had a wood fire but no chimney inside so there's lots of black marks all on the walls, on the outside. They decided to start doing this artwork around the black marks to try and disguise it, and make it prettier. During the Second World War, they continued it just as a way of boosting people's morale in the village. I love this village, it's getting more and more pretty by the second. And there's something about everyone's garden is so unique. Like some people are growing sunflowers, some people are growing vegetables, some people have got chickens. Horses! No, they haven't seen any horses. The vet man invited us in to his garden to have a little look around. Um, I think the expectation was we'd give a little tip. We actually just don't have any cash from on us. us. But maybe we can um, drive that past. No, anything like it. Isabel is trumping like like a brass band back there. She literally, I'm not even joking, we've been walking along, she keeps farting, setting off the dogs in the gardens and they sort of start barking. I think it's all the beans. I ate kidney beans for lunch. Even the fire station's pretty. Place is too perfect. It's like it's out of a TV show of the perfect town, um, but it's almost like it could be on the set of a horror film. We're gonna go find our guy that let us look around his garden, give him our 10 zloty. That's the only cash we have. Oh, oh lightning! Whoa. The it's storm, getting exciting! The storms have started to arrive. It's time to put some guzzle in the muzzle. It's really heavy, the rain now. I don't know if you can see. It's mad. How much shall I put in her? How much shall I put in her? I think I'll put 300 slotty or maybe 400. That is some heavy stuff. That was whole tank cost us 67 pounds. Yeah, we're going to start with some snacks, make our journey a little bit more fun. <laughs> I can get in. Um, that was the best shot ever. They have fresh baked bread has just come out of the bakery. It's warm. Yeah. 
Yay, we're here. All tucked up in the back of the van. And now that we've stopped, the tinkling of rain on the roof is really nice. And we'll fall asleep to the sound of rain tonight. Don't forget to give this video a cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't already. What are you doing? Come along. Three times a week we upload. Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. See you there. Everyone in this town seems to have a yappy dappity dog. And I think that calls for my dog, Song. No. <laughs> Dogs of this town are kind of yappy. That's why it's called Zalyappy. Oh, yippee for Zalyappy. Oh, yippee for Zalyappy.